What's good, YouTube? Man, I'm back with another video, man. Let's get right into it. So this may mean nothing to you at all, but I'm going to say this. I respect Terrence Crawford. I truly do. Even if he doesn't like the content that I make and he don't like the opinion that I had or have about him, I still know that this dude is a great fighter. No matter what he say or no matter what his fans say or anybody else say. Dude's a talented dude. He didn't get this far by being weak. You know what I'm saying? He's good. He's good at what he do. And I see him help guys get better. And he and I think he's a good person. But when it comes to this man's resume, Errol Spence has a better resume than him. Simple. It's like, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt in the past, but I've thought about it. This man's resume is just not good. Like, come on, G. Let, let's really look at it, though. Right? You fought Ricky Burns, and you gave him his third loss. Ricky Burns lost to two journeymen before he lost to Crawford. So how good is Ricky Burns? He, I would say he's like a C-level fighter. Let's go to a guy like a Hank Lundy. A good fighter, a quality, you know, he, he, he I wouldn't call him a bum at all, but I'd say he's a C fighter. I mean, he had, I think, six or five losses when he fought Bud. Come on now. How tough was he really supposed to be? See, that's the problem, guys. A lot of y'all don't know how promotion works. Do some research on boxing promotion. Look up what it means to be a promoter and what a promoter's job is. It may seem like it's obvious, but the way that these guys respond to, you know, boxing situations they don't really know what it means to be a promoter, even though it should be obvious. The job of a promoter to save you from doing any research is to make a fighter look good. It's a money investment. So the whole goal of promoting somebody is to put them in a ring with people that's going to make that guy that you promoting look good. So that means that's why you see the fights like the, you know, Tiafimo versus, uh, Pedro Camper. You see those type of fights because he coming off a loss. Let's build his stock back up so we can make more money with this dude. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, that's just how it works. It just, it's only to make these dudes look good. Enough for them to get to a point where they can make them the most amount of money. All that is going just to, back to the promoter anyway. So, of course, the promoters aren't doing this stuff for free. So they getting their piece out of this. You got to understand, everything that you see these dudes doing, like you got Richie Comey versus fucking uh, Jose Ramirez. Like, dude, come on. Stop. That's 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 a promotion thing. That just, that's a, it's a bit, that's the business side of boxing. You got to understand that. But, and I feel like that's what a lot of Terrence Crawford's career has been. You know, business. You know, the promotion. He be, he was promoted. A lot of people think that this dude is a killer. You know, based off the people that he's fought. But they made him look that way with the matchmaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. John Molina Jr., Hank Lundy, Thomas DeLorme. Like, C fighters. You look at his resume, you see nothing but C fighters. A high-level fighter fighting C-level competition is going to look like a fucking god. You know what I'm saying? He's going to look amazing against C-level niggas because he's better than them. So you can promote this dude as the greatest fighter of all time if he wanted to, and people are going to buy it because he's destroying these C-level dudes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all at people's expenses because they don't know the difference. They don't really pay, they're not really paying attention. They're buying the hype. They're buying the promotion. You know what I'm saying? They promoting a guy to be this dude, and they putting him in there with guys that are making him look like that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want this guy to be the next Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to put him in there with niggas that's going to make him look like the next Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that this has been his entire career, but that's why Errol Spence said, you know, Terrence Crawford's career has been smoking mirrors. Because it has been. Like, come on, man. You fighting dudes that aren't that good. So you looking like a fucking a mega star. You looking like a dude that's just untouchable. But when I seen him fight Sean Porter, nigga, Sean Porter in my eyes was winning that damn fight. To be perfectly honest, I feel like 
And this is why I think another one of Terrence Crawford's weaknesses is, and uh, uh, the edge that Errol Spencer got over Terrence Crawford is, a lot of times Terrence Crawford do use a lot of athleticism. His technique be sloppy as hell in a lot of fights. His technique be sloppy as hell. Uh, he was missing like a motherfucker against Sean Porter. And he was missing like a motherfucker against fucking Mean Machine. He, he A lot of times, this dude be sloppy as hell. You know what I'm saying? So, in the technique department, Errol Spence don't, most definitely got that. And, uh, yeah, but that's this off topic. But, you know, this supposed to be about to do a resume. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, he, the, he sloppy as hell against Sean Porter when he finally fought somebody that was, like, close to his level. You get what I'm saying? And Sean Porter did a hell of a job in that fight. If you don't believe me, go back and watch it. Don't just... Don't just go off what people saying about the fight in that one time that you watched it. You know what I'm saying? Watch that fight. I watched the fight probably five times. Sean Porter did a hell of a job in that fight. But back to my point. You know, the resume is not really strong. You know, we got guy. He fighting guys that's in a first 12-round fight. <laughs> fighting guys who clearly do not deserve a title shot. Fighting guys who, you know, just not on that level. You know what I'm saying? He's good enough to beat. You know, C level guys. We've seen him do it so many times. You know, in them when them fighters that he fighting us at an A level, come on. I always say his best wins is Gamboa, who was two weight classes smaller. You know, who was a was really a featherweight. Postal, who only won one title, and Sean Porter. Now I think that Sean Porter win was pretty good. You know, I think that Sean Porter win was pretty good. He showed that he's on the level of A-level fighters. But come on. You can't compare no fucking Jeff Horn to no Errol Spence. You crazy if you do. Julian Sanango is a is is a is a D-level fighter. He's not a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? Probably the worst unified champion to ever live. Uh who else? You got fucking uh who else? Who else did Terrence Crawford? Be that it just wasn't that good. It's so many niggas, you know. <laughs> but let me see. Uh, I said Kavios because he was in his first 12 round fight. I mean, how good could he have been? You know what I'm saying? He haven't even been 12 rounds yet. You know, so that's that's off the table. You got Jose Benavidez who had one leg and, who got, and later on got dominated by Danny Garcia, who everybody claimed isn't good all of a sudden. How convenient is that? But yeah, it's just crazy, man. Like, and, and Terrence Crawford even said, you know, um, oh, Danny lost all his fights. He lost all his fights. Like, nigga, he fought a nigga that you fought and dominated that nigga. <laughs> like, what you talking about, bro? That dude that you fought just wasn't that good. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? It, and and even if he was that good, which I think Jose Benavides is, is a quality fighter, but he's not on no level of no Danny, Terrence, Errol, Sean. He's not on them niggas' level. You know what I'm saying? He's not on that level. So that's just the truth about it. You know what I'm saying? He's just not on that level, you know? Like it or love it. Hate it. Whatever. It don't matter. He's just not on that level. He showed it. So we got Jeff Horn. Let's look at welterweight, though. Jeff Horn, Jose Benavidez, <laughs> Kavioskas, David Avanesian, nigga. Come on now. All them people that Terrence Crawford fought. Kel Brook, who was overly done. You got Amir Khan, who was just not even... He got dropped by fucking Phil O'Greco before he fought Terrence Crawford. Like, dude is just done. He overly done, bro. And Terrence didn't even knock him out, for real. He hit him with a low blow and he quit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, man, it's just so much hype surrounding Bud, bro. It's like, for his resume to be that weak, it's like, duh. You niggas have been promoted a dude. That's what it is. If you don't want to admit it, then that's on you. But you've been promoted that this dude is some killer, and he's been put in position to look like one. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to whoop my little brother ass every time, every day, because he's my little brother, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And not, it's not a diss. He's still good, but... I think his career is highly embellished. Like he said, it's smoke and mirrors. Like, you can't name one A-level fighter that this dude has beat or any quality opposition that he beat. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, man, 
he got the default accolades of, you know, undisputed th- three division champion. He got the default accolades, but it just it's, it, I don't think it really have a lot of substance to it. But we'll just have to see what it is, man. July 29th, man. As for right now, man, I'm out of here, bro.